Kia and Hyundai are launching crazy electric cars from the future. In this video, we can see how Kia EV6 destroying Lamborghini Urus, Porsche 911, Mercedes AMG GT, and Ferrari California. Only car that can pass the Kia was McLaren. Let's start from the Kia. Sales already started in Korea, America and Europe. And first deliveries are promised to be on October 2021. Prices starting from $45,000. For now we can order 5 different trims. First trim is standard. Rear wheel drive, 58 kilowatt batteries and 370 km of range. 170 brake horsepower, 350 torques, 0 to 100 km in 7 seconds. Another standard car with the same range and same battery is all-wheel drive. It has 230 brake horsepower, 605 torques, 0 to 100 km in 6.2 seconds. Also available two cars with long range, 78 kW batteries and 500 km range. First trim is rear-wheel drive. The long range produces 225 brake horsepower, 350 torques, 0 to 100 km, 6.7 seconds. Full wheel drive version is 239 brake horsepower, 605 newton meters of torque, from 0 to 100 kilometers in 5 seconds. And the most expensive sporty version that destroyed all the supercars in the beginning of the video has 576 brake horsepower, 740 torques, and range of 570 kilometers. 0 to 100 kilometers in just 3.5 seconds. 80% of batteries can be charged in 28 minutes. I think that EV6 was made to drive it only sideways, because all cars have real-wheel drive layout and all models have drift mode. Personally for me, design of Kia is too futuristic and my eyes are not used to this car or maybe they just don't want to accept it. Maybe after a few years I will get used to it and it will be nice, but for now it's just too crazy for me. Interior was created by these two 15 year old teenagers that don't even have pimples on their face and they did a very good job of course our car has long display and display has curve interior doesn't have natural leather and every plastic panel that it has is made from recycled plastic in fact there is so much plastic that each car has 100 bottles of recycled plastic at least 100 bottles and trunk is huge 530 liters now let's talk about hyundai ironic 5 Design is more likable than Kia. Hyundai decided to go retro style and car reminds me of Lancia Delta Integrale. I don't know did I pronounce it right or wrong, let me know in the comments. I think when Spurge version will come out it will look more like Lancia. Interior is more pleasant for my eye. It is simple and doesn't have any aggressive lines. Platform and batteries are the same with the Kia, so all the numbers are same, except of the sports version because Hyundai doesn't have sports version yet. Central console called Island, and that's a very stupid name to call a part of interior an island. And also, this island can move back and front for whatever reason, I have no idea why it can do this. Ionic is already on the roads of Korea, America and Europe. And there are many reviews on YouTube, and there is no negative review at all. People love that car is portable energy station, and if you want, you can connect everything you want to the car, and even charge other EV vehicles. All Ionics and Kias have zero gravity seats. No idea what does it mean, but sounds very interesting. There is no official confirmation when those cars will be sold in CIS region, but I think until Korea, America and Europe will satisfy their demand, we will not see them. Thank you for watching, please don't forget about Food for Life US. This movement feeds more than 3000 people each Saturday. You can donate or help physically if you are in Uzbekistan. Link is in the description.